so I have this idea for a knitted project. I got inspired by a photo on Pinterest. It was a photo of these absolutely stunning knitted pants. And I've never knit pants before. And it's probably quite difficult, but I really want to try it. I'm currently knitting a pair of shorts but I'm using like I'm hand knitting them and for the pants I want to try using my central knitting machine because I feel like otherwise it's going to take me way too much time that I do not have. I got interrupted because I got a package they ordered and it, I'm gonna show you because it's actually quite exciting. I ordered myself Anokarina. I know how you pronounce it in English. Oh, it came with this little necklace. I wanted to learn to play it for a very long time. Look at how pretty it is. And yeah, I thought I would buy it for myself. So you'll probably see me trying to learn it in this video as well. Yeah, I'm editing this video right now and I just want to say you won't see me <laughs> try to learn because I've had a very busy week and I just didn't have time for that. But yeah, back to the video. But for now I'm gonna leave it. Right now I'm gonna get ready and go to the art store to buy some yarn for the pants because I do not have I want them to be a solid color, like a white or beige, I think, and I do not have enough yarn of one color to make them, so I need to go buy some yarn, even though in the last video I said that uh, I should stop buying yarn, but what can you do? So yeah. the shorts that I was talking about. I'm knitting them completely without a pattern, so I'm kind of just freehanding it, as I always do with stuff I knit. So the idea is that ripped section, and then I'm basically going down and making increases on both, both sides of the shorts and hopefully the sizing will be correct yeah i thought um, i'll first make them see how everything works and stuff like that and then i'm gonna try to make pants um which i realized i'm gonna actually do by hand not on my knitting machine because I made a swatch on there and it was way too open. I didn't like it and I didn't want to use chunkier yarn because I want, didn't want my pants to be chunky. So I'm gonna have to hand knit them. And it's gonna be a long process. It's probably gonna take me several months, but I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to get them done by January. I'm really hoping because I'm leaving for a trip at the beginning of January and I really want to have these pants on the trip so fingers crossed but I think I'm gonna manage it if I make it my priority if I start them and I only work on them then I think I'm gonna be able to finish them
So I just came home from work and I'm incredibly tired. The plan for the evening is I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna, I think, work on the shorts that I'm knitting and probably go to sleep, I don't know, because yesterday um, I was meaning to record more, but I basically came home and I just fell asleep and that's it. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. Oh, I also maybe want to continue reading a book that I started. Uh, it's called The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, I think. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, and I'm like 50 pages in and I'm really enjoying the book so far. So I'll probably read that for a bit. But yeah. I just finished um, eating and I still had this feeling that I wanted to eat something else like I wasn't completely satisfied and luckily for me my mom just came back home and she bought me some homemade pies this one is with mushrooms and then this really delicious roll thing it's with coffee seeds and chocolate and I'm drinking just a green tea with raspberry jam, which is my new thing. So basically, like every couple of weeks, I come up with my new favorite drink. And right now, this is it for me. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Because first of all, okay, update on the books that I was reading. Um, I was loving it. And then... Uh, I took the wrong pie. This one is not with mushrooms. Hold on, let me let me exchange it. This one is supposed to be with mushrooms. When I started reading it, all I knew about it is that it's supposed to be like uh, a really good like mur murder mystery book with like a great atmosphere and. I think it's still a great book, like, um, I think it's just not my, not my thing, because basically what it is, it has like some elements of, how do you explain, not fantasy, it has some elements, and it's not a spoiler, it's literally in the description of the book if I would have the brains to look it up. Uh, but basically it has like some elements of time travel and I don't like that because I was Not looking for like a supernatural book at the moment again. I just I Think I would enjoy this book if I knew what I was getting myself into and I think I might finish it later on but not at the moment because right now I don't want to and it sucks because I really like the characters that were introduced and stuff. I just, I'm a really picky reader, just so you know. And I think that book is great, just not for me and not at the moment. But I downloaded another book and I'm liking it so far. I don't wanna jinx it, but so far I'm liking it. Yeah, so that's, that was the update. Mm. Right now I'm kind of in the mood for knitting, but I'm just scared of committing to a project like pants because it's gonna take me several months to do. But I know that I'm gonna be very happy when I'm done with them. 
and they seem like fun to knit i don't know i don't know i think i'm gonna think about it so little update i've changed into my home clothes made myself some warm milk and i cast on the pants i'm gonna try to commit to them i'm gonna start them see how things go if i'm feeling it i'm gonna commit if i'm not feeling it i might just frog it but so far so good As you can see, I'm kind of wearing a cute outfit because my mom and I had this like spontaneous idea to go have a photo shoot because she likes photography and she has a, a camera so I got all dressed up and I'll take you along with me and we'll see how the photos turn out. Hopefully we're gonna be able to get some nice ones. Просто всей толпой, всем стадионам. Раз, два, три! Еще! 